Very good evening here in Treviso. We've got under 26 Nations Summer Series, the evening game, Scotland against Italy. And we get underway in less than 10 minutes time. Ben Jacobs with you from the Stadio Amigo. Where we have balmy conditions, it's called, since the first game of the day where Wales came from behind to beat Georgia. And they got themselves a bonus point in the process Georgia themselves got a losing bonus point as well. A really close game in the end, 30-24, with Georgia having a late opportunity from a line-out to potentially win it. Well, she's in good spirits, and so are the home crowd. Italy, the hosts here, and they are hoping to continue their winning run. Scotland, on the other hand, looking for their first win. Italy beat Georgia in their opening game. Scotland lost out to Wales, despite having large spells of possession and territory. Eight minutes to go until kickoff. Do join us shortly. We'll run through the teams in a moment. They'll come out, they'll do the anthems. This tournament says no to racism, and you will see banners around the stadium. And also the under 20 Six Nations Summer Series supporting those who are against the war currently in Ukraine and the victims affected by it. And fans and players are encouraged to show their solidarity with Ukraine as they see fit, so you may well see some flags around the stadium as well. But this tournament has two goals as far as being socially responsible is concerned. The first to say no to racism, and the second is to support Ukraine during the war. The Italians and the Scots here are a big part of that as well in terms of messaging. Plenty of flags in the crowd from these two nations. A few Scots have made the journey up, particularly related to some of these players. Of course, their parents and family tend to travel with them when at all possible. Wait the teams before we get underway in an intriguing encounter. It's Italy against Scotland. Join us for kickoff shortly.
say the team's about to make their way out into the field. We have anthems ready to go. Italy have won six of their last seven meetings against Scotland after losing nine of the previous ten, which shows the improvement at this level on the Italian side. And Italy have scored 26 or more points in each of their last seven matches against Scotland as well. So they'll be hoping for a high-scoring encounter and a bonus point should they be victorious. of their last five games after only winning one in eight prior to that. Scotland, on the other hand, in desperate need of a win. They've lost 11 on the bounce. As you can see, racism is not acceptable in rugby. I mentioned that just a moment ago. Strong messages as we start with the Scottish national anthem and the bagpipes are, of course, part of that. Italian national anthem. players in the anthems and now on the field. It's Scotland against Italy in the under-20 Six Nations Summer Series. Balmy conditions here in Treviso and just about to get underway. Scotland coming off the back of defeat to Wales, but they had positives in the second half. 
Italy saw off Georgia, who themselves narrowly lost to Wales. Here is the Scotland 15. Captain is Rhys Tate. Plenty of young players in one minute. Kenny Murray's squad. 11 of the 26 players in the squad were involved when Scotland played Italy in the 2022 under 26 nations. And Andy Stewart and Duncan Munn starting the centres for the sixth consecutive game. They're working up an excellent partnership. That was a quick look at the Italy 15 as well as we now see the replacements. And we're underway. Scotland in the white shirts, Italy in blue. Just a look at that Italian side. I can tell you that Alessandro Gessi, Federico Cuminetti, willing runners with the ball, electric pace. Filippo Lavarenti is a highly thought flanker as well. And a player that Leicester Tigers have scouted. in this Italian lineup and squad that have represented the under 19s and are now coming through to under 20 level so it's a period of transition Scotland have changed up their front row a little bit for this one Immediately you see the pace on the flank that I was mentioning. And Scotland under the cosh and Italy inside a minute with the opening try. And that's the danger that this is a very explosive Italy side. Are going to have to contend with that. Work quickly down that left hand side. Perfectly weighted pass. Two 11s up against each other. And a little offload. And Italy chance here to go 7-0 ahead. So Ross Vincent with the try after the little offload by Cuminetti, very composed as well. And from Scotland's point of view, as we see the conversion is missed. Okay, Johnston just couldn't quite make the tackle, having been outnumbered. Good use of width by the Italians. Scotland must regroup. Six Nations on the 26 series. 
Ruffalo, Vincent, who we just saw, Fregini, as well as Middleton and Williamson in Scotland. Making up five of those six, so we should see a fair few attacking rocks. Five minutes gone. Italy with a more positive start. And win the ball here as well. See the intensity. Scotland just a little bit rattled here early on. Can't afford to get off to a slow start. Much better, as I said earlier, in the second half from the defeat to Wales than in the first half as well. Taken by the lock, Matteo Lee. Scrambling to keep this alive, but Scotland looking to get hands in there, and they have turned it over. Straight back though to Italy again. That's disappointing. Isotto trying to shrug off a tackle. Yeah, no space to run here. Instead, Italy check inside. On the ball. Knight is going to be penalised. <laughs> Italy have actually enjoyed the most territory so far with any side in the under-20 summer series, 62%, will be in pretty early stages. The tournament will run into July. Worth pointing out as well for those of you that are unfamiliar with this particular tournament. It's got the traditional Six Nations and then two others, Georgia and the Junior Springboks. though back in field and Scotland start opening it up they're being stifled in quite dangerous areas at the moment opportunity to clear their lines here though Right there. Also right again. Yeah, okay for me. Guilty of being a bit overzealous. This will give Italy an opportunity to kick for territory. Lorenzo Pani. Accurate boot. Kick the 
occasion and jinxed him. Usually very accurate from those situations, but overcooked it. And as a consequence, it will be a scrum. So that's disappointing from the perspective of Italy. A little bit sloppy from both sides early on, even though Italy have, of course, got the early score. The game's lost a little bit of its rhythm in the last five minutes. Scotland obviously need to go against the tide and stop Italy having territory. Give themselves a bit of a respite. So the try. I've seen too many clear cut opportunities. Two centres that I mentioned before. Another Barrow keeps the play going. Michael has to get a handle on it. Trying to set themselves to move into a more attacking kind of territory, but once again comes to nothing and they didn't really gain too much either so a frustrating passage of play from a Scottish perspective yep. Italy ball I'm off. Captain. Italy are the favourites to win this game good record of late against Scotland Scotland on a run of 11 straight Pen defeats two penalties against you yeah. it's nothing that's um, that's a dent or something yeah so just be aware of it let's just get the discipline award Reese Tate just having it reiterated to him that penalties are already starting to rack up. Just a soft warning, quiet word for now. Are you going for touch? Yeah, must be well, let's go. Yeah. Is he the guy kicking? Uh, yeah. So we'll try and find Fine. touch. Let's take a water break. That's a rugby collision, no, no, no problem. For a break. said that the result in the performance against Wales was deeply disappointing. Yeah. The second half though was much better. Yeah. But Ashford and Cunningham finished that game pretty strong last time out in Murray's estimation and that's why they are starting this time around. Play. Scotland with Prop, Carmichael, Hooker Harrison, Stugall, Prop, the two locks, Taylor and Williamson, the two flankers, McConnell and Tate, number eight, Leather Barrow, scrum half is Ashford, fly half Cunningham, Knight, uh, Johnston, the wingers, Stewart and Munn, the two in the centre and the fullback is Gabe Jones. The hosts of this tournament with Bizotto and Bartolini as the two props. Fangini the hooker. Bina and Mattioli the locks. Lorenti and Ribonato the flankers. Ross Vincent the try scorer and the number eight. Scrum half Batara, fly half Sante, Cuminente and Gessi, the wingers, two centres, Lazarin, very highly thought after, and May, who's come up from the under-19s, and then 
at fullback as the runs are Panny. Scotland with the put in. Still really had an opportunity to make any gains either through the centre or out wide and run freely with the ball. Take him back. Caught in this sort of territorial kicking game. Keep moving, Blue! But the one positive is that having conceded a try so early, Italy haven't really had any meaningful opportunities. The only thing of concern to Scotland is the number of penalties given away through the opening 12 and a half minutes. Taken and sidestepped as well, and this is the pace that Italy bring. Oh, so close to a breakaway try there down the right hand side, but the winger Alessandro Gessi just couldn't handle it. Lorenzo Pane did ever so well in the build up, and Scotland will open and they get away with one there. No advantage. No advantage. It's being deemed. Yep. Lovely little sidestep. Just a little bit low and flat. And anything higher or handled. And Italy could well have doubled their lead or better. So it's got in the Italy 5 if you've just joined us. 15 minutes gone. Great to have your company here in Treviso. Coach! unaware is taking place in the absence of the annual World Rugby Under 20s Championship. So Six Nations Rugby is working in collaboration with World Rugby and all participating unions and federations to offer an alternative tournament. The main aim of winning, of course, is, is an intention and a commitment to strengthen the international rugby pathways. So it's all about the next generation of rugby stars and giving them a platform to develop. The World Rugby Under 20s Championship that you may be more familiar with is due to return in 2023 though. To the Italian half, but again, not the best pass and being forced back. Kicking Touched. once again. Yep. A little deflection though. Yep. Josh Taylor, but he was able to ride the impact and keep the phase of play going. Oh, 
Um, if you're on receiver, just give me a bit of two meat pit. Yes. So a quick drinks break. Oh, I thought you said it's good. Fast start. Italy still leading Scotland by five points to nil. An unconverted try. So while you're playing it on this camps, just wait for the bind call, okay? Uh, just wait for the bind before you go. Happy? That's all. No, no, just wait until I say bind and then you go, okay? The little deflection on the kick. This will be Scotland ball from the line out. They're going to be on the line. No, 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 it's time off. Wait for it. Patrick Harrison has the ball. Standing closest to him is Ian Carmichael with his back to the line. Cleanly won. No, the pass is perfect. It may still benefit Scotland here. Perspective because they've been working hard in relatively non threatening areas, but just to get a bit more control over the ball, they got a reasonably fortuitous opportunity through that deflected kick, which gave them a line out in deeper Italian territory and then weren't able to turn it into any form of meaningful attack. AJS Thomas just have a ball on the four white. He gives the shoulder directly on the player without binding on the last ruck. Josh Taylor is going to have a word had to him in a moment for making contact with his shoulder in the last ruck. Italy at the moment just coming forwards with a bit more zip and purpose, even though Scotland have, to some extent, weathered the early storm. Turnover. Italy failing to play the ball. You can't play. You're on the floor. You need to get to your feet. So all of it stop starts at the moment, which may suit Scotland. I mentioned earlier that Italy have managed to score 26 or more points in terms of their last seven matches against Scotland it shows the improvement and potential of this particular crop of players and age group it's not looking like a high scoring game at the moment a war of attrition in the first 20 minutes the try coming so early but 19 minutes after that and not too much in an attacking sense. Quite the contrast to the Wales-Georgia game where for much of the first half both sides were within 15 metres of the try line. Georgia faded a little bit in the second half and Wales were able to win that game. 30-24, four tries. Georgia do pick up a losing bonus point because they were defeated by seven or less. Harrison. 
Harrison. And it's batted away by Italy. They look to run this quickly now. Scotland have kept their shape though. It's sort of a, anything imminent on the counter attack. Good pressure there by the Scots. They just kick and clear their lines here. Hanging on to it, dangerous tactic, and Scotland might make them pay here. They were really able to hang on to the ball, but Scotland were playing an advantage, so they had very little to lose. Ross McKnight not able to force his way through on the left wing. To see the line out stats there, both teams have lost one so far. Scott already had five scrums. there to Italy after the scrum was turned. Really able to break away. It's gone pretty deep, so it will be pulled back again. Continuing this sort of stop-start pattern that we've seen to the first half so far. Treatment. Some magic spray on the knee. Fragini gains a few meters. Cleverly chip forwards. Sandro Gessi trying to get there, but Scotland will regain possession. Just, just have to make sure they stay on side. Let's see the pace of the fullback again, Pani. To that left hand side and Cominetti inside the Scotland half. Get 
Scotland warned, as you may have heard from just a general chat to a formal warning about the number of penalties. Line out. Keep your point. Keep your point. Keep your point. Powerful Italians trying to drive over. And they do. Same corner as the first try. Same result. Italy doubling their lead. So an opportunity for Nicolo Tanegi to add the extra points. Dewey Passer Lorella is the man who claimed the try. Five minutes gone, conversion missed, Italy 10, Scotland nil. And frustrating really for the Scots. Thank you. Who haven't been able to generate too much in an attacking sense. And now find themselves two scores behind as we hit the formal drinks break at 25 minutes. Italy 10, Scotland nil. Flanker Liam McConnell. 
busy hands from Italy will turn this over. Good territory. Patrick Harrison, little sidestep, super finish, right under the posts. Brilliant bit of individual skill and composure. And Scotland on the board. Should be the full seven, because that is right under the sticks. Patrick Harrison with the try. All about the quick thinking. <laughs> the footwork found the gap little sidestep and from there he's always going to score under the posts perhaps from Italy's point of view Nicola Knutinegi all good at Gino offside on the rug disappointed not to have got stronger Tackle attempt in, but take nothing away from Patrick Harrison. That makes Scotland feel a whole lot better about things so far. Conversion, as you would expect from that kind of distance and angle. It's knocked over by Ewan Cunningham. Italy 10, Scotland 7, game on. Yellow card given to the lock, Josh Taylor. So Scotland short handed to close the half. Stay there, White. It's the key period. He's coming in. All good. Scotland wants to keep it tight in Italy. Trying to give themselves a bit of comfort at half time and in a good positional opportunity here. Otombina takes it. 
The scrum half is Batara waiting for the ball and has it now in his hands. Not too many short sided options. Number two. Number two. Doesn't need them at this point because Scotland just keep giving Italy opportunities and cheap ones as well. Seeing that power driving straight over. There was only ever going to be one result there. And it is another Italy try. Brilliantly done from the host perspective. Just too much power. It's Matteo Rubinato. See they're always in control. Bit of protection being offered by the number eight, Vincent. Rubinato scores, and Italy restoring a bit of breathing space, just keeping Scotland more than a try at bay. And they can obviously extend by two more here as well. Judged by Nicola Tenergi. He's wide of the right hand post. So five minutes to go until the break. Response just before the break. That's a knock on. Knock on. Well, it's not getting out here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Scotland have got one last opportunity, an unexpected opportunity. And that's poor from the Italians. They could have managed out the clock. Cleared their lines and got in at the break. And suddenly Scotland have got territory. And one last push. Can they get within a point at the break? Try scorer Harrison. Trying and failing. Losing the ball. Half time, they survive a late scare. But Scotland can't capitalise. And Italy, after scoring early, dominating. Good. Good. Line outs have got themselves a narrow lead. But Scotland have hope after an excellent individual finish from Patrick Harrison. At the break, it is Italy 15, Scotland 7. Just keep in the moment, Gary. And then we can go.
the second half is about to get underway. The hosts of Italy are leading Scotland by 15 points to 7. Patrick Harrison had narrowed the gap for Scotland, but Italy was scoring early and after that Harrison try. Even though they missed a few conversions, they are in a position of early control. Still pretty tight though. Of course, we've got the goal and one score behind and um, don't have a good record of late against Italy. Italy are hoping to win two wins out of two. Scotland are coming off the back in round one with a defeat to Wales. So well come along to Treviso for this round two game of the Under-20 Six Nations Summer Series. Through. Just about ready to get underway. The visit to Scotland. Scotland in the white shirts, Italy in the home blue. Hand on the yellow boys. Nine o'clock local time in Treviso. Just wait, wait. As you want, AG. Good to go. You can. That's yours. Run the way. Improved second half performance in that loss to Wales, and they'll be hoping for the same again. We need to find a way of getting a little bit more territory. Here's Knight conceding a few less penalties. Not seen too much of a kicking game from the Scots thus far. It's a positive start to the second half. Josh Taylor, who was Simbin late on, awaiting his return. Can I? Can I ask him to dance three on me, please? Dance three on me. Yeah. Yeah. So Scotland with the first opportunity of the second half. The try scorer Patrick Harrison will deliver the line out. It's cleanly taken. Scotland did lose a couple of line outs in the first half. Scotland on that left hand side. Consistent series of phases of pressure to build a bit of confidence. It's a decent kick into space. Just to allow Italy to reset. Keep moving wide. Fullback Lorenzo Panic is very highly rated and showed why there. And Italy get hold of the ball for the first time. Not on the ball. Tara. Tara again waiting 
to pull the strings goes out to that right hand side slightly errant pass but benefit Italy here big prop Bartolini gaining a few metres actually the ball getting away from him there's an injury on the field as well no advantage has been played so an injury to be dealt with as well Zoli, at least for now. Scotland might have some space here down the left. Gabe Jones was really well tackled and Italy turn it over. for Federico Cuminetti. So Scotland have an opportunity. Decent territory. Just no real rhythm on from the Scots. From Italy's perspective, making it a bit of a stop-start game could well play to their benefit. Especially to find two scores. This is half an opportunity after the high pass. Closing it again. Four. Take it again. Same more. Same line up. Opportunity. Here's your mark. You're closing it. I thought that they were going to get a penalty, but they're going to go back and redo the line out after the Italians were warned for closing the gap. Cleanly taken. Oh, strong, resilient defence, no way through at the moment for Scotland. Mattioli. Really hard to pass so far throughout this game, really. Italy will take back the ball again. It's been Scotland's problem. They have shown flashes but not been able to string phases of play together. Whereas Italy, even though they haven't actually ventured 
into too many meaningful opportunities when they have got close to the line. They've been able to convert it into points. That's why they have a still slender lead. Well over half an hour to go. Crouch. Bind. So just at his third scrum. Win the second of those three. Six Nations here, but in addition, Georgia and the Junior Springboks. Junior Springboks are in the other group. And France. So Ireland. On the line. Make sure you're on the line. It's a highly competitive. Springboks are highly fancied. Hosseti hoping to make a mark. Island of the 2022 under 26 nations champions. And in good form as well. You can send him on. Is he continuing or are you doing a sub? Come on. Okay, send him on. Send him on. Line. They're going to be on the line. Will you stay there? Thank you. Okay, so, Lamartine and also the clock, Ricardo Genovesi, have come on for now. And luckily, Frangini has been forced off. Main aim here about being pathways 
the game time for the squads is naturally important. So you do see a lot of chopping and changing from the starting 15s. Here we go. Turn back on. Let's go. Thank you. As you and Cunningham. Move off my mark. He has way off. Save See, stats don't always tell you the story of the game. If they have missed more tackles, both teams have got relatively similar numbers. Scotland haven't really had too many meaningful opportunities. Five. Six. And for the Scots, there's Gregor Hiddleston. Now from Italy, who have lost a little bit of intensity, handing Scotland a few more cheap opportunities here. This will enable Scots to maybe get their territory, but they'll be disappointed with that touch not found. And that has been the story of the game, really, from Scotland's perspective so far, anyway. Plenty of time, though, to finish with a flourish. Captain. You already have a free kick against you for closing the gap. Look where the hook is, look where your guy is standing. Next one would be a penalty. OK. That's metal. I'm back on. Just trying to get over the game line a bit more regularly. Handling errors, knock ons, fumbles, just stifling their momentum as Italy are going to make a couple more changes. Six and one blue. Zoli, the prop, and also Marini are going to be the players coming on. The scout has been working. If you move off my mark again, I'm going to pick it you. 
tired looking players out there. Just getting a bit of treatment from their teammates, seemingly for cram. No, no water break. This plate, this plate. Come on. Let's go. shaky Italian scrum. They've only won 50% of them. Captain? Yeah, you don't need it. I'll talk to him now. Okay. AG, I didn't see anything special. Yeah. Yeah. Christian Townsend finds touch. After a hard fought scrum, Scotland That's you. able to turn over possession. Get them in line with you. Can they finally mount something and bring this potentially within one? What about the execution after the line out? Scotland have done pretty well in terms of this part so far. As Harrison delivers, and again, they win it. Rocks Moores. Quick ball, it's not come easy. It's a stifling defence continues to stop Scotland finding any real rhythm, and it's the same here once again. As Max Williamson can't really get any meaningful gains, hit hard again. Good tackle that time from Luca Rizzoli. being introduced for Italy. Give me a moment. Just doing sub, and then I'm going to check that. Thank you. going to go back to the bench. I just want to clear the breakdown here with that pin up piece. What clean out? Uh, the, the, the previous bike down. I just want to clear uh, that clean out. Yes, clear out. With a three white. With a three white? I, yes. I, yeah, I, I have a view on that. Uh, okay. It's, it's, a, it's a rugby collision. It's clearly accidental and not uh, directly. So for okay. me, it's play on that. No, Thank no you. problem. Oh, yeah, then we go on. Check. Yeah, yeah play on. Accidental. Sorry, I didn't tell you, but uh, it was okay. No problem. Yeah, what four o'clock? Turn that. Yeah. 
So it's be 15, Scotland 7, Italy. On course so far to make it two wins out of two, having beaten Georgia in their opening game, but they need to get the offence going in the second half if they are to stand any chance of getting bonus point. You can see there's 17 penalties conceded collectively in 10 from Scotland. It's not a good number at this stage of the game. From Scotland's point of view, I feel like this might be kind of a little bit off their game in terms of execution and struggling to keep territory. The scoreline is still close. And that is a saving grace, especially if they can just capitalise on one or two of these Italian penalties that they are winning at their end and the scrum remains an area of weakness in this game by the host nation so Scotland will feel like if they can find a gear they might be able to get right back in this game well, they, for example even just to get a kickable penalty they would put themselves in a position where they could at worst get back to within a bonus point Seven or less, if you lose by, you get a bonus point. Four or more tries, and you get a bonus point if you are the victor. Four points for a win, two points for a draw. That is the basic format of this particular tournament. Changing the gap. Scrum down. Number one, you're being stuck. Number one. They don't have to. That, you know. Uh, That's you. Okay. Come back on. Yeah, he's Sit. Italy will just be glad to win a scrum. Oh, almost came out though. Oh, this will be pulled back. No advantage. Just under 20 minutes remaining here in Treviso. So Italy, with no advantage, will be able to kick for touch. And then feel one more try, even with 20 minutes left Captain, in Scotland. Bet your mark on the line. Have a big, big task to get back in, simply because few opportunities have actually been created from the Scots in the final 22 or closer. something on the counter-attack here. Perhaps the kick was not the best of options there from the centre, Duncan Munn. That's you. Make sure they're in line with you. Come in, five. Cheating is correct. 
I'll send him for you now, 14 blue. Good spirits. Yes. Good to see young players passionate about their rugby and also about I'm using the sport for greater white. good. This tournament is also standing Seven. up to racism in and outside of any sport and also uh, showing its solidarity to those affected by the war in one. Ukraine and making Five it clear Five. that Five. the Russian Five. invasion in Ukraine is not only wrong, but the sport can do its part to stand up against a war of that nature see various shows of support towards the people of Ukraine throughout the course of this tournament. It's great Thank to you. see, of course. Thank you. Thank you. sort is going to be absolutely vital. So we just need to find a way to get something on the board. Younger rugby fans, male and female, who are inspired seeing people perhaps a few years older than them. I'm certainly seeing some young sort of teenagers like that boy just a moment ago getting really into the tournament. Pathways obviously work two ways. Once a young kid, male or female, sees the kind of sport they can play and are into, that's one pathway, a pathway through passion and then the other pathway is for these players themselves to work out how they can get into senior international and domestic rugby. Italy's focus for now is in trying to kill off this game though. Scotland has some defending to do. And they force their way over again. I think they have. Italy have scored again, and that could well kill off the game. Moving to a 13 point lead with the conversion to come. Which is big at this stage of the game, naturally. It's been a tactic that's paid off for Italy all game. Once again, drive over the line. So 
Persia could open the lead up to 15. Scotland need three scores. So this is quite important because two tries, both converted, not unthinkable from Scotland's perspective. There's three scores in the final 14 minutes. Seems like a big, big ask. Conversion sails over, perfectly dissecting the posts. And that should just about do it now. From the perspective of Italy, they'll feel that they're home and dry. If they can add one more try, they'll get themselves a bonus point as well. Try coming from Tommaso Scramosin, the hooker substitute. The conversion to boot, it is Italy 22, Scotland 7. Well, Scotland needs to take caution to the wind. It's an opportunity regardless of whether they actually can get back into it to just try and finish on a positive. And still game against Georgia that they see as winnable. All about ensuring now that they finish positively, whereas Italy are going for it because naturally they want to try and get the bonus point. And it was almost perfectly executed by Federico Cominetti trying to use his pace to get onto his own kick, but the bounce didn't suit him. Oh, he's got the ball. Disappointed with Sorry. the fact that they've been in this game for large parts through hustle and defence. Italy have presented them with penalties and opportunities, but Scotland haven't really been able to convert that into territory. And that has actually made it quite comfortable for Italy, despite the fact the scoreline is currently quite low. Third Italy try, a real sucker punch from Scotland's perspective. Get up, open, and get the numbers right. Far less scoring opportunities, though, from both sides comparative to the Wales Georgia game, which oscillated on the scoreboard between both teams leading and eventually Wales hung on despite a late Georgia opportunity to a 30-24 victory. So Wales are two for two, having beaten Scotland. Italy are on course having beaten Georgia to go two for two as well. And they'll want that bonus point. They need to score one more try in the remaining 10 and a half minutes if they are to get it. Jake Spurway making his way to the bench and looking a little bit disappointed that he was unable to make more of an impact. Not one of the starters, so this cameo hasn't helped Scotland, unfortunately. Positive, I suppose, in the one try that Scotland did score. Patrick Harrison with an excellent bit of individual skill and opportunism. Sidestep past the in vain tackle that came in from Nicola Tenegi to finish onto the posts. And at that point, Scotland very much felt like they had the momentum on their side. I can't really think of another opportunity for the Scots since then, anywhere close to the Italian try line. Better elbow, bring your feet closer. It's the locals in good spirits. Great to see a healthy crowd here, which you'd expect when Italy play. Pretty humid out there. That's why we've seen some tired legs. 
Italy hoping for one last push to keep pace with Wales and secure the bonus point. He's another one that stepped up in age class from the under-19s team after impressing. Okay. Okay. Let's finish this. Ready? Let's finish the penalty, then you can send them on. You can go. Okay, send them on. Okay. Penalty here to Italy. Okay, time off. Number four. Naturally go for the corner. And nine and eleven. Tombino will go off. Number nine, we've been subbed. Tommaso Simoni will replace him. We'll take a water break after this. Line is yours. Official just saying that there'll be a water break shortly, quite a late one. Jake Spurway is back on for Scotland. So we see a flurry of changes now. Can Italy get that extra try late on? And the bonus point right to the line and over. And they will get the four tries. And the bonus point. Disappointed once again. Simple line out to the back. Once again, breaking free from the rock. Oh, good for me. Move up. Move good as far as the TMO is concerned. Just unable to make the tackle. And Italy have a 27 7 lead. To add two more here. So Italy finally opening up a big lead now, 29-7. Try, well caught from the line out, and then just the simple drive through. With the scrum, I'm not thinking of uh, because it's dominant. It's not about a player that's getting it wrong. It's just clear dominance. Try from Dewey. Passarella, one of the yeah, substitutes. 29-7 the score. So Italy keeping pace with Wales. With two bonus point wins. Unless something spectacular, of course, happens in the final six minutes. And Scotland will be really disappointed with the second half. I said right at the beginning that they were much better in the second half in their defeat to Wales. But on this occasion, they've not been able to get anything going offensively. Italy, of course, do deserve some credit for that, but I haven't really seen any quick ball out wide, and Scotland have just struggled to string phases of possession together. Italy have been a bit more clinical in the second half of the second half, and as a consequence, they've been able to blow this open. Italy 29, Scotland 7. Of managing out the final few minutes from an Italian point of view. Scotland would love something though to finish with to take into their final group stage game against Georgia. Get out. Stop. So as I said before, when players are this young, you don't want to overly and only focus on the results. No team wants to lose. But by the same token, if within 
the 80 minutes there are positives and players gain experience and losing is also an experience then that's why these tournaments are put on so you never want to be overly critical but obviously any professional sportsman holds themselves to a high standard and Scotland will be disappointed with this performance because for large parts of the game Italy were there for the taking they weren't at their best in the scrum as well, much like Scotland, and yet only one of the two teams, the Italians, able to cash in points-wise. Scotland have done okay for parts of the game, particularly in the first half. They find themselves. Now, it's fair to say, less than five minutes on the losing end here. 29-7 the score. They're continuing a run of scoring 26 points or more against Scotland. Offside. I believe it's eight consecutive games now, having barely managed that feat in previous meetings. Number which 20 tells offside. You the overall improvement and development. And, you know, when you translate that to the senior level, with Italy looking to close the gap to some of the other Six Nations senior international teams, if they continue to beat Scotland at this level, they continue to show that they've got young players that can come through and close the gap. From Scotland's point of view, they obviously want to ensure that these players learn and come back stronger. And also, obviously, the club rugby that a lot of these players hope to play regularly too, both in and outside of Scotland. So, these tournaments help with pathways. Not that that will be much comfort to Scotland after a loss. Italy as hosts will feel like they're flying and they might be able to add another here too. Desperate defence by the Scots, but Italy over again. And it always looked like it was coming, didn't it? Is the hooker Tommaso Scramos in? So Scotland finding that score to take into their next game is even more disappointing. Scramos in, scrambling over the line. Italy just too powerful. All good, Aji. I've seen it really all evening in rocks and walls. These Italian players, but also their quickness of thinking to spot a gap. Scramus in the latest to be clinical from short distance. Again, an opportunity for Nicolo Tenegi to add two more. Really good second half here from the hosts. is that they had more territory and that will probably be the one area that the Scots would like to see improved. And obviously the penalty count has contributed as well. 34-7 into the final 90 seconds. Italy are going to make it two wins out of two. They're going to grab a bonus point as well, much like Wales earlier today against Georgia. Georgia got a point because they lost by seven or less, so Scotland are bottom of the pool. And then in the other pool we have Springboks Junior, Ireland, England and France. All of these games are available to you through until the middle of July. Good. 
This is only round two. So one final chance for Scotland to finish with some points. That's you. Can they drive over? They will get a morale boosting try to finish. Just a little bit better about the scoreline. Well worked from the line out and well caught as well from Max Williamson, number five there with that high leap. Yeah. And it was just a case of using a few decoys. Pure power from the centre, Andrew Stirat, and over he goes. So Scotland into double figures. That's perhaps what yep. they needed earlier in the game when they did have one or two penalties and opportunities to capitalise off lineouts. So this is the last action of the game. Scotland can make it 34-14 if this goes over. And they will prepare for their final pool game against Georgia. As Italy will play Wales in a top of the pool clash. Teams with perfect records, both of whom have got bonus point wins today. So good that Scotland have had something to take from the second half. The conversion goes over as well. 34 14 is the final score. The hosts win. They stifled Scotland. They've struggled to create too many chances and Italy when it mattered were just the more clinical bonus point win for the Italians and the final score here in Treviso is 34-14 in Italy's favour over Scotland thanks for joining us stay with us for the rest of the tournament have yourselves a good evening remember this is the under 26 nations summer series all of the games available to you online we hope you're enjoying our coverage to stay with us for the rest of the tournament. The final score here in Treviso is finished. The host Italy 34, Scotland to 14.